America, sweet America. You know, God done shed his grace on thee. On this Veterans Day, we're honoring the estimated 17.4 million men and women, Americans who bravely served their nation. We salute them and this morning we're hearing about an organization that's been working overtime to help those who are still struggling with their wounds of war. ABC's Janine Elliott has more. Every year, an estimated 200,000 service members leave the U.S. military and return to civilian life. But for some, that transition is not an easy one to make. When I left the military, it was that everyday structure that I had and um, not having that, you know, it, it felt like a total disconnect um, and the feeling of, now what? U.S. Air Force veteran Angie Atkins would eventually find support through a veterans organization with a simple goal. Our mission is to enrich the lives of America's veterans. The way we look to do that is primarily through physical and social engagement. Brett San Pietro is a U.S. Army veteran, current Navy reservist, and the director of operations for Team Red, White, and Blue. He understands the importance of helping heal the invisible wounds of war that plague many of our country's bravest men and women. We know that one of the, the biggest ways that we can be preventative to a lot of the things we see as big problems in America today, right? Uh, substance abuse, depression, a possible suicide. One of the big preventative measures for that is engagement. You know, when I joined, it was the immediate feeling of connection, of this is the group I've been looking for, this is where I belong. With nearly 200 chapters across the country, Team Red, White, and Blue helps connect veterans to their community through social gatherings, volunteer work, and fitness activities, ranging from running to cycling to yoga. But all that came to a screeching halt in March. So with COVID hit, it was hard to find ways to still be able to connect with our members, especially um, feeling isolated during that time. So while we're all being asked to stay apart, Team Red, White and Blue has had to get creative in order to continue their mission of bringing veterans together. Bring in your knees to your chest, between your arms. The organization adapting to COVID-19 restrictions by taking their events online, now hosting everything from workouts to meditation exercises to happy hours. We recently launched an app and through that we have virtual engagements. You can participate in these engagements, these challenges, and see the other members all across the country who are doing it. Brett says the virtual events are proving to be beneficial for many members who otherwise wouldn't be able to connect. We actually had more engagements in 2020 than we did in 2019. There's a testimonial on Team Red, White and Blue's website from one of your members. She said Team Red, White and Blue literally saved her life. Why do you think it's so important organizations like this exist for our nation's veterans? The testimony you're talking about, like it's something I hear probably on average at least once a month. Far too often, we don't know someone needs something like this until it's far too late. And if we're that option, if we're that something for someone and it gets them through a rough patch, that's like mission accomplished right there, right? That's one less person who's a statistic. Janine Elliott, ABC News, New York. A big thanks to Janine there again, red, white, and blue. They've got an app, they got virtual events, they're helping veterans. For more information, visit teamrwb.org. 218,000 members and what a beautiful community they've created. So incredible. Hats off to our veterans. Yes, definitely.